And now join us here on the Inland Sports Show. They are getting ready to embark on Bakersfield for the CIF State Meets. We got the JW North Wrestling Squad, head coach Harlan Kissler, and a couple of his state qualifiers. Kissler is wrestling royalty in Riverside in the Inland Empire. And, and, uh, and Harlan, I just wanted to ask you, you know, about you know, taking over the JW North program as a head coach, what kind of satisfaction does it bring to you to see your wrestlers reach the pinnacle of of high school wrestling here in the state of California to make the state meet? I mean, for me, I get more enjoyment watching my wrestlers compete and succeed than when I competed. That was kind of the first thing that hooked me into coaching. I wasn't super sold on it when I first got into it. It's kind of like a backup plan that, you know, I fell in love with along the way. But the first thing I noticed is just watching my athletes compete, and hit their goals. It's awesome. And, you know, I've known Kobe for a long time. So getting to watch him is awesome. See him grow. And Alyssa, I've been coaching her for three years. So to be at this point, it really sets him above the rest. And I'm super proud of him. All right, Coach, so as we get ready to go into the state meet, um, again, you've got Kobe and you've got Alyssa uh, qualified there. Let's start with Kobe real quick. Obviously, he, you know, he went to the finals last year, number one wrestler in his weight class. I mean, going into the state meet, what, what kind of advice, what, what tips would you give him so he's, you know, has the best chance to succeed in Bakersfield? Uh, the advice, I mean, just wrestle your match. Kobe's handful. I mean, I wrestle him in the room. He's taking me down he's beating up really good world-class wrestlers he is in my mind unstoppable so you know he doesn't really have problems with that he shows up and as long as he wrestles his match and has fun with it i think he's going to do well and it's it's scoring often you know being busy and that's one of the biggest transformations i've seen in him you know watching him last year he was kind of always good position great wrestler but would kind of hold on to a one-point lead now you watch all his matches, he pins everybody. He's just in their face, heavy-handed, never letting him breathe, and it's just wrestle that match, be that guy. And as long as he does that, I think the outcomes will show for themselves. Well, Kobe, um, I correct me if I'm wrong, but you pinned everybody en route to the Masters title, right, last week at Palm Springs. What was working for you at the, the CIF Masters meet? Um, you know, just getting my to my ties, getting that heavy hand fighting, Doing good on my top turns lately. You know, I've been getting perfecting down the room, uh, working on my top, making sure I get everything technique correct so it's spot on. So I'm able to pin them. Going for time, I've been doing too lately. So I've been trying to pin them in, you know, the first period, and that kind of worked almost yeah, every match of Masters for me. Now, Kobe, you're only a sophomore, right? I mean, you're still kind of, I'd say, new at the high school level at least. But how long have you been wrestling? I've been wrestling since. I'd say like first or second grade. So I've been wrestling a long time, a lot of experience I've built. It kind of shows to like the level I'm at right now in high school wrestling for sure. So you feel like you're, even though you know, you're only a sophomore, but you feel like you're, you're at least a veteran in the sport, at, le- at least at yeah, this yeah. level right now. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. I'm a veteran for sure in the sport, even though, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, a sophomore in high school. So Kobe, yeah. going into the season, is it safe to say that the, the goal, the big picture was, man, get back to the state meet, get back to the finals and, and try to bring home a state championship. Exactly. That's what my goal is. Ever since last year, I lost in the state finals. My goal has always been to win a state title. And, you know, of course I've won all these titles during the season, like battle for the belt and doc B along the way. But you know, this is the goal for sure that I've been waiting since last year and everything this to, for this weekend to happen again, win a, win a state title for sure. And especially for my new school, JW North. Yeah. It'd be great. Kobe, you know, doing so well at Doc B and the battle for the belt, too, um, down there in Temec- at Temecula Valley, did that give you any confidence for the rest of the season when you can perform well at those, you know, big prestigious meets? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's given me a lot of confidence, you know, wrestling under the lights at Doc B and battle for the belt, you know, these tough tournaments and winning them the way I do win them, you know, and everything. It's for sure giving me confidence and compared to last year, you know, me winning closer matches. Now I'm like separating myself from the rest of the wrestlers on the playing field at 215 so it's it's for sure giving me so much confidence going into the state tournament all right very good thank you kobe we also have Alyssa castillo cif champion third at masters and Alyssa, as you go to the state meet do you feel like hey if, if everything falls in line you might have a chance to, you know to be in the hunt for a possible state title um i really want to fight for it honestly um i've been getting most of my confidence from like my mom um, my coaches, especially, um, I didn't, 
I've always dreamed to make it this far ever since the end of my first year. Um, since my first year as a sophomore wrestling, um, I was two matches away from state, you know, which given me the confidence to, you know, say, hey, I can really, co- um, I can really qualify for state. Um, and this year I really wanted to give it my all since it is my last year. And um, it just became so unreal that I qualified and I'm really grateful with my um, my coach's words, um, my family's words, and all of the uh, the motivation it's given me uh, confidence to qualify for that. You mentioned your mom. Is she a big yeah. inspiration? Oh yeah, she is. She she's my number one cheerleader. Um, I always hear her on the mat. Um, she's my big motivation, especially. She's very she's very on top of what I do and you know as much as much as I am nervous before a match she she always says you know you can do it don't worry about it just wrestle how you want to wrestle so Alyssa even when you're in the heat of battle can you pick out your mom's voice like when she's screaming and, and yelling from the stands <laughs> yeah <laughs> So going into the season, was that just the goal was to get to the CIF state meet? And now that you're there, I, I, you know, it sounds like it's not like, oh, I'm just happy to be here. It's like, hey, you feel like you're going to you're going to win some matches now that you're at the at the state meet. Yeah, I. I really look forward into um, to battling further in state. My my goals is to make uh, history in my school. Um, I really want to, uh, you know, be on the podium and represent uh, for my school, for our girls team in North. And coach, let me go back to you to wrap things up. I mean, you know, as we go into the state meet, you know, obviously I asked you in the very beginning, what kind of advice or, you know, tips you, did you give them going into it? But at this point of the year, I mean, how much of it is just being healthy at the right time, having the right mindset going into it, um, those sorts of, I guess you'd say, intangible things, you know? I mean, because obviously they're great wrestlers, and you, you know what they can do on the mat. How much of it is, you know, just making sure that they're locked in, they're focused, and they're they're thinking about the right things going into it? Yeah, I think the mental part's the biggest thing. Even today when we broke practice, it's reminding people a lot of people are looking for the door you know they're just happy to get here despite the number next to their name the seed you know they're just happy to get to the big show get their patch and take them to deep waters they're willing to throw in the towel and maybe let somebody who's more hungry move ahead so yeah it's all mental we've had both sides of that coin we've had people rise up and break brackets and show that mental you know, tenacity. And then we've had the flip side where people who maybe should be here with us didn't quite make it because that mental, you know, it's a long season, a lot of wear and tear. And yeah, you got to be healthy. You got to be focused and you got to keep coming back to why you love doing what you're doing. So you got to love it. You don't love it. It's, it's hard. You can go do golf and (laughs) no disrespect to golf, but sit in the sun, have fun and not all the wear and tear on your body. But if you love wrestling, you got to remind yourself of it. Show up when it matters and have fun. And, and, and golf, you know, after your golf match, you can go get a big cheeseburger and a milkshake and not think twice about it, right? <laughs> uh, ride that golf cart around, have yeah. some fun. You know? So, yeah, wrestling is grueling, and it's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Well, Alyssa, Kobe, Coach Kissler, man, I really appreciate the time and uh, best of luck up there in Bakersfield. Hopefully the next time we talk, we might have a state champion or two. Heck yeah, that'd be awesome. First since 1996, never happened for the school district, never happened for the school. So if it happens, it'd be historic. That is so awesome. That is JW North Wrestling here on the Inland Sports Show as we get ready for the CIF state meet up in Bakersfield. Let's go.